Monday the 27th of November 2023 First reading Reading from the book of Daniel In the third year of the reign of Jehoiakim king of Judah, Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon marched on Jerusalem and besieged it. The Lord delivered Jehoiakim king of Judah into his hands with some of the furnishings of the temple of God. He took them away to the land of Shinar and stored the sacred vessels in the treasury of his own gods. The king ordered Ashpenaz, his chief eunuch, to select from the Israelites a certain number of boys of either royal or noble descent. They had to be without any physical defect, of good appearance, trained in every kind of wisdom, well informed, quick at learning, suitable for service in the palace of the king. Ashpenaz himself was to teach them the language and literature of the Chaldeans. The king assigned them a daily allowance of food and wine from his own royal table. They were to receive an education lasting for three years, after which they were expected to be fit for the king's society. Among them were Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael and Azariah, who were Judeans. Daniel, who was most anxious not to defile himself with the food and wine from the royal table, begged the chief eunuch to spare him this defilement, and by the grace of God Daniel met goodwill and sympathy on the part of the chief eunuch. But he warned Daniel, I am afraid of my lord the king. He has assigned you food and drink, and if he sees you looking thinner in the face than the other boys of your age, my head will be in danger with the king because of you. At this Daniel turned to the guard whom the chief eunuch had assigned to Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael and Azariah. He said, Please allow your servants a ten days trial, during which we are given only vegetables to eat and water to drink. You can then compare our looks with those of the boys who eat the king's food. Go by what you see and treat your servants accordingly. The man agreed to do what they asked and put them on ten days trial. When the ten days were over they looked and were in better health than any of the boys who had eaten their allowance from the royal table. So the guard withdrew their allowance of food and the wine they were to drink, and gave them vegetables. And God favoured these four boys with knowledge and intelligence in everything connected with literature and in wisdom, while Daniel had the gift of interpreting every kind of vision and dream. When the period stipulated by the king for the boys, training was over, the chief eunuch presented them to Nebuchadnezzar. The king conversed with them, and among all the boys found none to equal Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. So they became members of the king's court, and on whatever point of wisdom or information he might question them, he found them ten times better than all the magicians and enchanters in his entire kingdom. Responsorial Psalm To you glory and praise for evermore. You are blessed, Lord God of our fathers. To you glory and praise for evermore. Blessed your glorious holy name. To you glory and praise for evermore. You are blessed in the temple of your glory. To you glory and praise for evermore. You are blessed on the throne of your kingdom. To you glory and praise for evermore. You are blessed who gaze into the depths. To you glory and praise for evermore. You are blessed in the firmament of heaven. To you glory and praise for evermore. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. Even if you have to die, says the Lord, keep faithful and I will give you the crown of life. Alleluia. Gospel. Reading from the book of Luke. As Jesus looked up, he saw rich people putting their offerings into the treasury. Then he happened to notice a poverty-stricken widow putting in two small coins, and he said, I tell you truly, this poor widow has put in more than any of them, for these have all contributed money they had over, but she from the little she had has put in all she had to live on. Gospel of the Lord